The gateway to six hour sex. <laughs> six hour sex? Who could hold his stomach in that long? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I want to do for six hours is sleep. That's what happens when you have a two year old. Although the other day he did the cutest thing. Way to go, Danielle. Two year old, sexy. <laughs> So you're an escort. Me too. She's, she's very nice. And easy to talk to. So who do you work for? Mavis Ray. The singer? Yeah. I thought she died on a toilet. Not recently. If you're looking for a change, my company's always hiring. The Urban Adonis? That's right. At your service, 300 an hour. This woman is paying you for romantic companionship? Imagine what an international man like me could fetch. You'd clean up. You could pass for Latin, Middle Eastern, Italian, daddy bear, straight. Has anybody ever told you you look exactly like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Sue Lynn's phone, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna flat squat. Hello? <laughs> Jerry, why you call me again? You bugging me. <laughs> Jerry, you such a nagger. <laughs> no, I said nagger. <laughs> no, hold on, Jerry, hold on. I'll give you Sue Lynn, I'll give you Sue Lynn. <laughs> Talk to your ass. <laughs> no, man. No, she don't want to get married. She don't want to marry you or your crabby mother. <laughs> no, no. Listen, it ain't no angel child. These secret how she feels. She says she don't marry you. <laughs> Last call for alcohol. Last call. This is where I clean up. Did you have those in the party purse? Uh-oh. My hand is stuck. <laughs> you look like an extra from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> He's a bastard. I know. When did this start hurting so much? It never used to be like this. I think we might be... No. Old. Gosh. <laughs> What's that saying? Liquor on beer, never fear. Beer on liquor, sicker. How's that go? It goes liquor, I hardly knew her. <laughs> Ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Did you wake up with some strange guy in your bed this morning? Two. <laughs> but they were making out with each other. <laughs> I tried to get a little something going and they screamed. You rock. You were great last night. Thanks. Was he talking to you or me? It had to be you. I've never been great, but I'm always thorough. I gotta tell you, I can't do what I did last night ever again. I mean, it's too much work. And my, my throat is sore. <laughs> From shouting. Oh. You know, that damn place was so loud, I can't believe we can even hear that phone call. <laughs> what phone call? Jerry, remember? You told him Sue Lynn didn't want to get married. I did? Mm, you did. 
Did he laugh? No. Did I laugh? Yeah. Well, that's all that matters. <laughs> Why do you only do that when I have a hangover? Because I do it in the morning. <laughs> oh, look, a penny. <laughs> I want it quiet, and I want it quiet now. Mavis! Quiet. Mavis! What? Did Rita come home with you last night? Not unless she's got a hairy chest and a tongue like a windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see those people over there, too? Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, you're so lean, say, not me. Yeah, I'm not me. 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 Rita, where have you been? After the Golden Girls went home, we stayed out and party. But Cupcake, I'm... No, no, baby, I gotta go upstairs and lay down. I'm giving blood this afternoon. <laughs> Nassim, what went on last night? Well, I discovered that I am a fetish. It's something I've always suspected, even as a boy. Rita! How about, how about? Mavis. Huh? This is my mother. Hi. We sound angry. No, that's just the way they talk. Some languages just sound angry. Although this dialect is particularly aggressive. Uh oh. Mavis? Huh? Did you talk to Jerry last night? Huh? <laughs> Did you talk to Jerry last night? Uh, me? Okay, okay, look. Sophia said I did. And I just want to say right now, I am so sorry. I mean, I'm so, so sorry. If I could remember what I said, I would take it back. You told him I didn't want to marry him. I did? This is serious, Mavis. Jerry's family's upset. My family's upset. I even just yelled at my mother. I told her to shut up. Did she? No! <laughs> Look, this wedding is hard enough without you getting in my Kool-Aid. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was getting in your Kool-Aid. <laughs> well, what's the difference? What does it matter what I said? You love Jerry, he loves you, go marry him. Maybe I don't want to get married. You don't? I never wanted a big wedding. This is all for Jerry's family. I can do this. Well, darling, I think you better call him up and tell him. And try to do it quietly, because some of us are still having breakfast. <laughs> Jerry? D -d 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 don't speak. Now listen. I don't want to pour tea for your mother. I don't want 450 guests. I kissed a guy last night. I'm not wearing red at any reception. And when it comes to music, I need something funky, damn it. <laughs> what? Of course the wedding's still on. What are you, an idiot? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I like the way you slipped in the part about you kissing the guy. You know, if it comes up later and he says, you never told me that, say, oh, yes, I did. <laughs> How's it gonna come up? Well, you know Sophia can't keep her mouth shut. Girl, did I tell you she had that breast reduction? Really? Mm-hmm, the left one, zoop, gone. <laughs> but you didn't hear from me. Hey, do me a favor. Will you go tell your mother that the wedding's on and get all them little Asian women out my lobby? <laughs> Mama, I want to go And all new Happy Families coming up next right here on NBC. Hello, Hotel Lamont. Yes, it's the handyman speaking. <laughs> yes, from the bar, I remember you. What can I do for you? You want to do what? <laughs> oh, I, I 
I, I'm not that kind of escort. Look, I could never do that until I got to know you better and met your parents. <laughs>